just tell you why it is very, very important that uh, Kere and the people who are in Kere are aligned to the president's plan. It is because it is an extremely strategic organization for the president. Um, for the government to achieve its mandate, it must be able to collect enough revenue alongside other places. There is, there has been uh, some uh, system that has been operating in Kerry that overtaxes the ordinary folk and leaves the rich do not tax. I will tell you, it's not just a story that you've seen in the standard newspaper. There are people who have power and money that have never ever paid taxes or even get huge, huge um, um, tax waivers. Mm -hmm. Now, what is happening with the new uh, chairman and the entire team of care is to make sure that all those loopholes are sealed and every Kenyan pays taxes. That's number one. Number two, then after you pay taxes, you must align your administration to the people who understand your manifesto. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what the president is doing. In reorganizing, his, his, um, there are several organizations to have individuals who understand the manifesto of Kenya Kwanzaa participate in even a bigger role than those who do not understand. You cannot have Jared Okello, who was selling a manifesto of Azimio, being in a very strategic place uh, and to implement a Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto. It is impossible. It will work very hard to make it fail. So we have to get individuals who understand what our plan is and have them in those positions to deliver. We have a very short time is, to deliver. Is it opinion that Gidi Mboro was working for the Azimio Manifesto. No, I'm not talking about individuals. I'm not talking even about That's KRA. I'm talking replaced. in KRA. Yeah. Then probably it's not aligned. And first of all, let me tell you, <laughs> uh, probably there are so many, uh, not even probably, there are so many things that have happened under the watch of uh, the former uh, Director General of Kenya Revenue Authority. And that is why he has, been, uh, he has been removed. You can see up to last week, they were supposed to waive uh, one, up to one trillion uh, shillings of taxes. It tells you there are so many things that are happening. Number two, KRA was used to execute political assignments in the last uh, regime. It, we cannot allow that. So we will not allow individuals who do not do understand. You assignments? To, you know, there's a way to negotiate uh, about taxes. Taxes is, is you don't criminalize enterprise, like I said uh, uh, from the onset. But KRA had started to criminalize enterprise. If I owe KRA today money, you know what they used to do is probably to close my business or deny me uh, a certificate for, to participate in subsequent tenders. What is happening now is that the president is saying that is wrong. If someone has not paid tax, call them, sit down with them and agree what is the problem? Why have you not been paying taxes? Businesses are suffering. You agree with them and let them give you a schedule of how they can pay taxes. The re yesterday, uh, yesteryear regime did not want to hear that. All they wanted to do was to shut down businesses and they were interested more on executing political assignments than working for the Kenyan people and collecting revenue. So let us have people who are aligned to our administration and people people who really understand what the president wants and people who can collect taxes on behalf of the rest of the country. We must develop this country. The only way to develop uh, Kenya mm -hmm. is to collect taxes. And like Jared is saying, no one is overtaxing anyone. We are all paying the same taxes. This is our country. We must develop this country. Jared wants an environment where no one pays taxes. They want Kenya Kwanzaa's administration fail. You heard him in his talk saying, we want to sustain national conversation. There is no national conversation. It's a veiled threat to execute a coup. There is nothing these people want. They do, they do not want to, they, they don't want investors to come into the country. They do not want anything to, 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 to continue uh, working because they want the Kenya Kwanzaa administration fail. Six months after we've uh, won elections, uh, Sam, mm. what honestly will we have done to overturn what had been done in five years? The president is trying and now he has stared the country into stability. We were in, 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 in a deep hole. We are trying to get ourselves out. But as we try to get ourselves out, Jared and Co. now want to take us back in and even dig further. Okay. We will not allow that. Over time. Yeah.